Hello, this is a quick video about covering your model aeroplanes with tissue paper. If you've ever wanted to know how to cover a balsa wood model with covering material, then this is the video for you. It is worth mentioning that there are a lot of ways to cover a model aeroplane. So yeah, this is just our method. It works really well for beginners and you should have a lot of success with it. Without further ado, let's get started. First, let's get our tools and materials. You'll need some PVA glue, such as the stuff included in the kit, and you'll also need some Easy Dope, which helps shrink and secure the covering later. A glue stick is essential, an atomizer is ideal, and scissors will be required along with a paintbrush and a very sharp craft knife. Also, grab a sanding block. In addition to this stuff, you'll need a container of ordinary water. It's not necessary to use a coronation mug, but we had one lying around, so that's why we use this one. It might also be a good idea to have a cloth or towel around. Next, grab your tissue, included in the kit, your freshly sanded airframe component, and set them both aside whilst you mix a glue solution. This mix should be anywhere between 70% PVA to 30% water to around 50% of each. Carefully cut out two pieces of tissue that are big enough to cover your part. The longest edge of the pieces should be along the longest edge of the tissue sheet. Leave a border around this component. You don't need to be too precise, but don't waste too much tissue. You want to ensure that you have enough tissue to go around the rest of the model. Next, you'll want to apply a thin layer of glue using the glue stick to one face of the framework. Use the sharp edge of the glue stick rather than the flat face of it. This is much more precise and stops the glue being paired off in lumps around the ribs and any adjacent parts. A good way to do this is to do two light circuits of the frame, making sure that everything is coated while ensuring that there are no lumps and bumps of glue. Remember, do not put any glue on the inside ribs. Carefully put the frame down onto the tissue on the bench, then turn it over and tease it out with your thumb and run your finger around the edges. You don't need to make it too tight, but try and get it fairly wrinkle free. Now turn the part over and cut away all of the tissue with either scissors or a sharp knife and leave a border of around one millimeter. The idea here is to provide an overlap that can be rolled over and stuck to the edges of the part. Now apply a bead of PVA mix to the edges of the tissue and in small stages roll the tissue up to meet the edges of the part. This will provide loads of extra sticking power and make sure that the tissue doesn't come away from the frame when it gets shrunk at a later stage. Once you're done with this stage, allow the PVA to go off for about 15 minutes or so, and then start on the other side. Once you've finished with this, leave the assembly for around 24 hours to make sure that the glue is fully set before water shrinking the tissue. Right, now we're going on to the water shrinking phase. As described in the kit instructions, the tissue covering is water shrunk. This means that by wetting the tissue, it will contract and go tight over the structure. With Easy Dope, use a 5% solution of Easy Dope and water to shrink the tissue instead of just plain water. Make some spaces using the scrap edges of your laser cut balsa sheets and cover them with tape so that the part doesn't stick to it later. The key things to bear in mind here is to apply a very light mist of water and then hold the part perfectly flat until the tissue is fully dry. Not holding it flat may result in the part twisting or warping. With that you should have a finished covered component. Alright, thanks very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a like and subscribe for more in the future. And we'll catch you on the very next one. Thanks for watching.